Okay, so the next step is to draw a triangle when giving the base angle, base angle and the base. So you have base angle and base in this case. So let's label a triangle ABC. So the base, let the base for the, the base, AB is 70. AB is 70 millimeters. And the base angle is 45. So one that will give you one angle. They give you one angle. No, in this case, you need you need two sides. You need two sides. The base angle is 45. Base angle is 45 degrees. This side is 70. This side should have been 70. And this side is 65. 65. All right. The so side is it is ACC. Oh, thank, thank you, son. Yeah, let me correct that. ABC. Thank you very much. ABC. All right. So this is it. You know, I should have drawn this more to the side over here. You shouldn't try it so far to the join. All right, no problem. All right. So let us get into this. So I would really appreciate if you guys help me, help me to go through this. All right, so we have four minutes. So the first thing to do is to draw our, draw, oh, go to our construction line. So I click here, change to construction line, click here. Then I draw a line, L, L enter, draw my first line. And I'm gonna engage my orthogonal mode to get line horizontal. This side is 65, 65, enter, enter two times. No, I'm gonna draw this other line here, which is 70 millimeters at 45 degrees. So I reactivate line space bar, specify the start point here. Then I type seven, seven zero, then the top key, the top key. What the top key does, it changes from dimension to degree. You will notice that circle there with a degree sign. I then type four, five, enter. And it will draw the line at 45 degrees. I then join this side right here, enter, and it's done. Triangle ABC, side that side, 45 and that. So my next step is to add my, is to dimension this up. So first I must change to my dimension dimension there. You have three minutes to go. Hope I can finish in three minutes. Then click here, there, out, deactivate orthogonal mode. By the way, guys, you can also dimension your figure by hitting the space bar two times. One, two, click, drag, and you get all sides, right? I need angle now, so I'm gonna go up here. Excuse me, sir. Yes, son. Um, the 65 one. We sure did draw that from sir. Dimension. No, I draw it from line. The 65 degree angle. Yes, sir. Yes, I draw it from line. Line top key. Um, if you have your article textbook, look at which page are there. It's in the first part, it's in the first couple of pages, the first five page or to draw a line at 45 degrees. It is also in the grade nine industrial technique book. I discovered in it. All right? That's true. That's yeah, and if you watch the videos, you will see how that is done. All right? No, so we have done this. Our next step is to add our text. What I would do here, I'm not gonna go through and draw those texts. I'm gonna copy one of these. So click this, type C O enter, specify my base point. Specify here at my base point, and I'm gonna drop one here, drop one there, drop one here. Escape. Then I'm gonna click two times. One, two, changes to A. Click one, two, three, changes to C. Then click outside, and that is done. Press Escape, all right? Now I need to change this to my outline, all right? Click onto my outline, 
Then I'm going back to line and I'm going to trace over this. So I have that right there, that down there, and this enter. So we have that. That is done. And we have a minute and a half to go. When we return, we will do two more questions. Okay? Do you have any questions, guys? Is there anything here that you don't understand? No, sir. No? All right. No. Listen up, guys. This is done in AutoCAD. You are required to do this in AutoCAD and also in the traditional way. The videos that I uploaded, that I sent to you guys, they show, they, they, they show how to draw this traditionally. All right? But AutoCAD is a little different, and it also makes it a little simpler to do. All right? Again, you guys need to subscribe to the channel because there are some videos there on how to bisect lines, how to do, how to draw angles, et cetera, et cetera. We did those in grade seven. We did them in grade eight. We did them extensively in grade nine. We are in grade 10. You will definitely need to remember them. You are in your grade seven industrial, grade nine industrial technique book, which is very, very good. Again, you must ensure that